This is a demonstration of the uh, stretchy bind off in pattern in a rib rib pattern. So as you can see, we have a, a knit stitch and a rib stitch. And in order to maintain that pattern, we have to bind off in knit on the knit side and purl or knit on the knitted stitches and purl on the purl stitches. And this isn't the normal way to cast off because normally what we do is we just knit and then we would we, like, um, we knit one and then pull this over the top and that's your bind off stitch. But with ribbing, um, that won't work as well because, um, I'll take this out, it, it doesn't stretch. And there are ways of, um, you know, having a, a, a bind off that won't be as tight. One of them is to use a needle that is a couple of um, uh, sizes bigger. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something better. And it's it's a simple technique, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. So here you can see I've, I've done some binding off. And we are on a knit stitch. And you can tell that because here is a little pearl bump and here is the little V. So we know we're on the knitted side. So the first thing we're going to do is slip that stitch onto the right needle and then slip both stitches on to the left hand needle. And then we're going to knit this through the back loop. I'll show you this again. That's the knitted. The next stitch is going to be a purl stitch. So we move our yarn to the front. We put both stitches on the left and then transfer to the, I'm sorry, to the, put them on the right and then transfer to the left and then purl them together. There's your bind off stitch. Now we're back to knitting. So we're going to move our yarn to the back. Now I'm going to skip a stitch, a step. I'm going to just slip that knitted stitch, or that, that last, actually it was a purled stitch, I'm going to knit it, put it on the left hand needle and knit them two together through the back loop. So I take my right hand needle and instead of coming in this way, I'm going to go in through the back and knit. Now I'm coming around to the front because the next stitch I have is a purl stitch. I'm going to transfer that newest stitch back to the left hand needle and purl them together. I'm going to purl this just made stitch with the purl stitch here. Purl, pull through. Now we're on to a knit, so we're going to move that to the back. It's nice and stretchy. And you, you don't want your cuffs or your neck bands or your hat bands or anything where you bind off where it's going to be cinched. You want it to be loose and stretchy. Let's do this again. Move that to the back. Or scar, sorry, move this to the left hand. Insert your right hand needle through two stitches through the back loops and knit. Okay, it keeps it in pattern so it looks nice and neat. Next stitch is a purl, so we're going to move the yarn to the front. Yeah, 
remember what you're doing. And then pearl. Pull it through. We'll try it again. Move this stitch. Oh, to the left needle. Insert your needle and it goes from the front to the back. So you're getting him on the front, on the back loop. If we were knitting it, it would be this way. And you can do that. But it looks a little bit neater if you knit through the back and then the It just looks neater. It's a left leaning sort of thing. Okay, nice and stretchy. I'll do it a few more times. You can always reverse this if you need to. Oops, here we go. Pearl. Two together. Yarn to the back. Knit two together through the back loop. We're going to purl. You always want to make sure that you pull your yarn to the front before slipping this stitch onto your left hand needle. Let me show you what would happen if you didn't. Do this and then put your, you're going to have an extra thingy. So it just looks neater. It's twisted. It's untwisted. When you do the slipping, it depending on how you slip, if it's, you know, depending on how you slip, your stitches can get twisted. So we want to be careful of that. That is why we knit through the back loop on these. Okay. To the back. Knit through the back loop. I'm going to attempt. I'm not good at purling when it comes to this left handed hold, but let's give it a try. Slipping. Oh, see, I forgot. To the front. I'm not very good at this. Slipping. Oops, I've got a split stitch there. Okay. Oh. Pearl two together. Yarn to the back. Slip. And knit through the back loop. Like that. So let's see if I can do this better. So this kind of knitting is actually more efficient on your hands. I just never did a very good job of learning how, um, especially purling. So I'm taking this through the back loop and knitting. So, this way. the front slip and 
and so on. You have a nice cast off that's nice and stretchy. Are you going to do this on your collar, on your, what you, I've already done, I think, and on your sleeves. That's what I've done on the sleeves. And these sleeves are really pretty big, so it wouldn't necessarily need a stretchy bind off, but just by practice, I do it anyway. So there we go with the stretchy bind off. It looks great. Stretch is nice. It's not going to cinch up against your waist or your hip. It's going to hang a lot more um, naturally. So that's how you do the stretchy bind off in ribbing.